and it's at a time where there's been a dearth of polling. I know you and Lexi, your entire team, you have internal polling data that you use, but for an outside firm to come in and do this exhaustive of a poll and it, for it to show that you are within striking distance, just five points within the margin of error, I might add, of Jared Polis at a time where he's under 50% with all of his name recognition, with all of his money, Heidi, and you're just getting really started here on the stretch run of the campaign between now and Election Day. What do you make of these poll results? Well, Ryan, the polling echoes what I'm hearing on the ground and what I'm feeling, the energy from the people across our state. Colorado is heading in the wrong direction, and Jared Polis is the problem. And hardworking families across our state want common sense solutions. They are not bowled over by these Tabor refunds that he's saying is from the government, a, you know, a nice cash back. Um, all these little gifts he's giving to the voters, people just want their lives back. They want control of their lives back. They want more money back in their pockets. It's their money, not gifts from the government. So Jared Polis isn't out there talking to people like I am. So these polling numbers are going to tighten as our hard work is rewarded. And we are out working so hard to meet voters all over the state, not just in Denver near the Capitol or near his home in Boulder. But, you know, let's talk about common sense solutions when it comes to lowering our soaring crime rate, we start by ending our sanctuary state status. Four years ago, Jared Polis promised not to make not to make us a sanctuary state in one of his debates with Walker Stapleton. He went back on his word and now fentanyl is flowing into Colorado. And when it comes to out of control cost of living here in Colorado, we start by not taking more of your hard earned dollars, which is why I want to reduce the size of the government and stop spending and go to zero income tax. And we also need to get our energy workers back to work. So the polling shows I'm in the best position to win statewide. I will do that this November in just 77 days, 76 days now, I think, <laughs> and bring the rest of our awesome slate of candidates across the finish line with us. 4.7 points, all that separates in the Trafalgar poll between Jared Polis and our guest, Heidi Ganon. Again, that's within the margin of error. That's with an undecided portion of 5% and with Libertarian.